So we finished exponential equations. Now we have to move on to a logarithmic equations. And this one, it has a little bit, a little bit different things to do, but we've talked about exponential equations before. We've talked about how to solve those and use natural logs and all the good things. And all the stuff that's in the logarithmic equations that part here, the rules, these steps are what we've done already. They're not brand new. So some of them, you might see the swoosh happen. You might see all these other random things happen because we've talked about this before. We've done it. So all of these things are coming back to play from graphing all the way up to now. Our, everything's coming together. It's culminating into this one last lesson of exponential equations and logarithmic equations. So our first step is to condense all the logs to one single log. So one log log one log so here again we've talked about condensing we spent the whole section uh, second part of the section last time on condensing so we know how to condense and those were kind of pretty easy hopefully you, you were one of those that loves condensing better than expanding it's okay I hope so I hope you are because you're gonna need to know how to do that then once you condense it down to one log we need to change it to exponential function or well, we need to go back to our whole thing with SpongeBob. We were like, bring it around town. Bring it around town. Then we do this and this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And then we go to the bubble. So this step here is swoosh. So step two is just swoosh. Make sure you swoosh it correctly, though. It's important that we swoosh it correctly. So we swoosh it. All right. So after we swoosh it, then we need to solve for x. So we, I, we condense it down, we condense it, we swoosh it, then we solve it, solve for x. But then for just log functions, we have to do this because there could be a right and a wrong answer, or they could both be wrong answers, or they could be just um, both correct answers. But if you put down both answers and they're both wrong, or only one is right and one is wrong, you're gonna get the problem wrong even though you did all the work, that was perfect. So the last thing is you must check it. It's important that you check. So we're condensing it, we're gonna swoosh it, we're gonna solve it, and then we're gonna can check it. Not can check it, but just check it. So again, here, to make it easy, we're gonna condense, swoosh, solve, and check. Write me a check. So condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Uh, 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 uh. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. So that's what we're gonna do here. Condense, swoosh, solve, check. All right. So I'm gonna give you the um example one in the next video. But again, condense, swoosh, soft, check.